And uh, let's check in with our Kaitor K now, who is at the District 4 headquarters in Akron. Kaitor, what are you learning right now? How are they getting ready for this one? Well, Betsy, ODOT Northeast Ohio says that by midnight tonight, their crews will be out in full force. That's 300 plow trucks out across 17 counties. And they share that the temperatures are going to get so low that they're not only going to use salt to treat these roads, but they're going to add calcium chloride and beet molasses to their road treatment mixture to more effectively melt the snow and the ice. Their spokespeople are asking the public to please take caution around their plow trucks. They've had five accidents with their trucks just this week and nine in total since the start of the year. So we asked ODOT what advice they have for drivers around their trucks. And while here in Summit County, we also asked the city of Akron what advice they have for drivers as well. Our trucks weigh thousands of pounds. They're carrying thousands of pounds. If you find yourself in a competition with them, you're probably not going to win. Your car is going to sustain the most damage. Our plows are going to then end up being off the road for some time, getting repairs and needing fixed. So when you see our plows, please give them plenty of room to work. Obviously, anytime that there's winter conditions out there, snow you can see on the pavement, but ice you can't. So you almost want to be driving around anticipating ice. Therefore, you slow down, take it more carefully, leave more space between vehicles, and anticipate other vehicles making crazy moves. You just heard there from Jim Hall, the public works manager for the city of Akron. He actually told us that they wanted to be so on top of this incoming snow that they actually started pre-treating Akron roads on Wednesday. And right now they have 52 trucks out working 52 different routes. Now coming up at 6, we'll check back in with ODOT and we'll be asking them what they believe will be most challenging about this upcoming battle they have with all this snow coming our way. All right, we know conditions can change minute by minute, so make sure you to stay tuned to 3 News, particularly starting bright and early tomorrow morning, 4.30 a.m. for the latest track, road conditions, and accidents. Kaitor K. Life Force on 3 News at 5. Kaitor, thank you.